Are you struggling with low FPS, frustrating input delay, or laggy gameplay? This is the ultimate Windows PC optimization guide for gaming in 2025. Learn how to boost your FPS, reduce input delay, and unlock peak gaming performance. This is the only guide you'll ever need to dominate the game. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, let's dive in. To enhance gaming performance by optimizing CPU and GPU resources on a Windows system, you can tweak specific registry settings. Begin by searching for the registry editor and running it as an administrator. Once open, navigate to HKE Local Machine and expand its drop-down menu. Within this section, locate and open the software folder, then proceed to the Microsoft subfolder. From there, explore the Windows NT directory, and within it, locate the Multimedia folder. Expand this directory and navigate to System Profile. Inside System Profile, find and expand the Task folder, followed by opening the Games folder. Here, you'll encounter various settings to configure. First, identify the Affinity setting. Change its value data to F, ensure the base is set to hexadecimal, and confirm by clicking OK. Next, locate background only, set its value to false, and confirm the change. Move on to GP priority, modify its value data to E, verify that the base remains hexadecimal, and save the change by clicking OK. For the priority setting, adjust the value data to 6 and confirm. Finally, set both scheduling category and FSIIO priority to high ensuring to confirm each adjustment. Implementing these changes directs your system to allocate resources more efficiently for gaming, leading to smoother and more responsive performance. Go to the Windows search bar and type Delivery. From the list of results, select the option labeled Allow Downloads from Other PCs. By default, Windows enables your PC to act as a server, allowing other devices on your local network or even in your vicinity to utilize your system for faster Windows update downloads. This setting, while helpful for some, can put unnecessary strain on your PC's resources. To ensure optimal performance and prevent your system from being used in this manner, make sure to disable this feature entirely. Next, open the search menu again and enter Focus. Select Focus Assist from the search results. This feature is designed to minimize distractions by controlling notifications. It's especially useful when gaming or working on tasks that require full attention. You can configure Focus Assist to block notifications during specific activities, such as gaming or when your screen is in full screen mode. Alternatively, if you want minimal interruptions, you can choose the Alarms Only option, which limits notifications to critical alerts like alarms. Adjusting these settings ensures a smoother, distraction-free experience tailored to your needs. Next, search for mouse settings in the Windows search bar and click on additional mouse options. In the window that opens, navigate to the Pointer Options tab. Here, make sure the Enhanced Pointer Precision option is turned off. While this setting is useful for general computer tasks such as typing or browsing emails, it can negatively impact gaming. It adds an extra layer of sensitivity that interferes with your mouse movement, reducing its accuracy, especially in fast-paced or precise actions. Disable this option for a smoother and more precise gaming experience, then click OK to apply the change. Now guys, search for Services to access the Services Manager. The first service to locate is Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This service handles background file transfers, often using idle network bandwidth, which can unnecessarily slow down your system. To disable it, select the service, right-click, and choose Properties. In the Properties window, change the startup type from Manual to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. If the service is running, ensure you stop it by clicking the Stop button before applying these changes. Next, scroll through the list of services to find Remote Desktop Services. This service manages remote desktop connections, which are unnecessary unless you actively use this feature. To disable it, right-click on the service, select Properties, and set the startup type to Disabled. Confirm your changes by clicking Apply and OK. The third service to address is SysMain, formerly known as Superfetch. SysMain is designed to improve app launch speed by preloading frequently used programs into memory, but this can sometimes cause performance issues. To disable it, Locate SysMain in the list, right-click, and choose Properties. Change the startup type to Disabled. If the service is running, click Stop, then apply the changes and click OK. By disabling these three services, 
Background Intelligent Transfer Service, Remote Desktop Services, and SysMain, you can free up valuable system resources and improve your PC's performance. Now you need to download some tools to optimize your Windows. So here is the best tools pack for you. Simply download this pack from my website. Link is in the description. So first, run this MSI utility. Open the application with administrator privileges by right-clicking and selecting Run as Administrator. Once the tool launches, it displays a list of devices that support Message Signaled Interrupts, MSI. Locate your network adapter and set its priority to High by selecting the appropriate option. Next, find your GPU in the list and set its priority to High as well to enhance graphical performance. After selecting both devices, check the boxes for the devices you wish to enable MSI mode on, then click Apply to activate the changes. Restart your computer for the settings to take effect. This tool is especially useful for optimizing system performance and reducing hardware-related latency. Always use caution and back up your system before making changes. Next, navigate to the folder containing the Ultimate Windows Tweaker tool and launch it on your PC. This tool is one of the best utilities for tweaking Windows to improve performance. Upon opening the tool, go to the Performance tab. Under the Performance section, I highly recommend applying all of my suggested settings. These adjustments include disabling programs that auto-start or become unresponsive, enabling the option to restart shot automatically after some error, and turning off features such as smooth scrolling and edge preloading. These changes are designed to eliminate unnecessary visual effects that consume excessive CPU and RAM resources. Additionally, make sure to disable certain Windows 10 services, such as the Tablet Input Service, Windows Security Center Service, and Prefetch Service. Disabling the Prefetch Service is particularly crucial, as it handles temporary data that can slow your system down. Turning it off will significantly help boost performance. Next, Proceed to the Additional section and select Network Tweaks. Again, apply all of my recommended settings here, which include enabling the onboard network adapter processor, limiting access to anonymous connections, and disabling unnecessary network features like recent shares and the default admin disk driver share server. You should also hide your network from network discovery and the browser list. Once these network tweaks are configured, click Apply Tweaks to optimize your network settings. Finally, click Close. The program will prompt you to restart your PC to ensure that all the changes take effect fully. After the restart, you should notice a more responsive and efficient system. Now install Memreduct. Once installed, open the program, and you'll see a window displaying your current RAM usage. When you click this button, Memreduct clears unused memory, instantly lowering your RAM usage. Each time you click Clear Memory, more RAM is freed up, helping to improve your system's performance. This is particularly useful when running memory-heavy applications or when your computer feels sluggish. You can use this feature multiple times to keep your system running smoothly without needing to restart or perform complex optimizations. Here's how you can use the filter key setter to improve your keyboard's responsiveness and minimize input delay for a smoother experience. Start by locating the program, right-clicking on it, and selecting Run as Administrator. When prompted, click Yes to allow the application to make changes to your system. This tool is specifically designed to enhance keyboard performance by reducing input delays, making it more responsive overall. Once the program is open, navigate to the Settings section to configure the necessary adjustments. Begin by setting the Ignore Under value to zero, followed by changing the repeat delay to 250 amiums and the repeat rate to 25 EMSs. Next, proceed to the flag settings and enable the on option by checking its box. Afterward, head to the available turn on section. Here, check the box for use shortcut, but ensure that confirm activation is unchecked and disable both show status and key click to prevent unnecessary distractions. Once these adjustments are complete, Set the When Applied option to save to Registry to ensure all changes are stored permanently. Finally, click OK to save the settings. At this point, you can safely delete the Filter Key Setter application from your system, as the changes are now stored directly within Windows. To unlock the maximum performance of your CPU, 
Start by installing the Park Control application, one of the best tools for fine-tuning your system's power settings. Once installed, open the application and scroll down to choose the desired profile. Select Bitsum Highest Performance. Next, disable the following settings to ensure optimal CPU performance. Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency DC. Set all of these to 100% for maximum output. After adjusting these settings, activate Bitsum Dynamic Boost. This feature disables unused threads when performing lighter tasks like web browsing. However, when you're gaming or running performance-intensive applications, it will automatically enable all threads, boosting your system's overall performance. In the Power Options section, make sure you select Bitsum Highest Performance. This will help ensure your CPU operates at its full potential, delivering the best possible FPS during gaming or other high-demand tasks. Double-check that all settings are set to 100% for peak performance. Then click Make Active and apply to implement the changes. With these adjustments, your system will be running at its highest efficiency, optimizing both CPU performance and gaming experience. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Nagel's algorithm optimizes TCP IP networks by reducing small packet transmissions, but can cause lag in online gaming. Disabling it can reduce latency and improve multiplayer connections. To do so, press Windows plus X, Open Device Manager, Expand Network Adapters, right-click your network device, and select Properties. In the Advanced tab, disable TCP Checksum Offload and Large Send Offload if available for a smoother, lag-free gaming experience. In Device Manager, expand the System Devices section and scroll down to find High Precision Event Timer. This timer can sometimes reduce FPS on many systems, so it's often recommended to disable it. I personally disable it, and it has boosted my performance. If you notice any drop in performance or FPS after disabling it, you can re-enable it. However, for most users, disabling the high precision event timer typically leads to better performance, just as it has for me. To boost performance by reducing unnecessary graphical effects, start by searching for Adjust and Select. Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. In the window that opens, go to the Custom tab. Check the boxes for Show Thumbnails instead of Icons and Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts. Click Apply to confirm the changes. This will minimize animations and visual effects, easing the strain on your system's resources, which can enhance performance, especially during gaming or other demanding tasks. Next, go to the Advanced tab. This is something we didn't talk about before. Here, you can choose how your computer allocates processor resources. Make sure to select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. Some computers default to background services, but if you're gaming, streaming, or using a specific program like Fortnite, this setting ensures that your computer prioritizes the main program you're using and allocates more resources to it for better performance. As an optional step, consider experimenting with core isolation under Windows Security. This feature provides enhanced protection by isolating critical processes from potential threats. However, it also demands considerable CPU resources, which could affect performance. To assess its impact, try playing Fortnite with core isolation enabled, then disable it and compare the system's performance.
Keep in mind that turning off this feature reduces security slightly, so it's essential to balance the potential performance improvement with the trade-off in protection. Ultimately, this step can help you determine if the performance boost is worth the slight compromise in security. Next, search game mode and enable it. This feature optimizes your PC for gaming by prioritizing game performance and minimizing background processes that could disrupt gameplay. Then, head to Graphics Settings and enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This feature offloads certain tasks from the CPU to the GPU, improving performance particularly for demanding games. Start by selecting Desktop App, and then click on Browse. From there, you need to find the executable file for the specific game you want to optimize and add it to these settings. To do this, go to the location where you have installed your games. For example, if you're adding Fortnite to Shea, navigate to its installation folder, then go into Fortnite and Game, then Binaries, and then Win64. Scroll through this folder until you find the bar.exe file for Fortnite. The process is the same for other games like Valorant or Counter-Strike. They will also have a TXX file you need to locate. Once you find the file for your game, select it and click Add. After adding it, click on Options. Choose the High Performance setting, and then hit Save. That's it! Your settings are now optimized for that game. Now, right-click on your taskbar and select Task Manager from the menu. Once it opens, go to the Startup tab. In this section, you'll see a list of programs that automatically start when your PC boots up. Review the list and disable any programs you don't need running at startup. For example, if you don't need the Riot client to start automatically every time you turn on your PC, go ahead and disable it. The fewer programs running in the background, the better your system's performance will be, allowing more resources to be dedicated to your game or other tasks. Now in the Task Manager, Go to the Services tab and look for Xbox-related services like Xbox Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox JIP SVC, and Xbox Net. If you don't use Xbox features, right-click on each and select Stop to disable them. This frees up system resources for more important tasks. If you use the Xbox Game Bar for recording, consider turning it off to boost performance, which I'll cover in more detail later. Restart your PC afterward to apply the changes. Disabling these services can free up to 40 processor threads, improving your PC's overall performance. Now, guys search System and select System Configuration. Then, go to the Boot tab and click on Advanced Options. When you reach the Number of Processors setting, set it to the maximum. I recommend using the maximum number of processors, as this will help your CPU perform at its full potential. For those with lower-end PCs, I suggest not directly copying my settings, especially for the timeout. A 30-second timeout is a good starting point. For high-end PCs, you can reduce it to 10 seconds, but keep in mind that this works best on faster systems. I have a mid-to-high-range PC, so 10 seconds works great for me. If you have a laptop or a less powerful PC, set the timeout to 20 seconds. You can experiment with lowering it from 30, press the Windows key plus R, to bring up the Run dialog box, then type Temp and press Enter to access the temporary files stored by Windows. Once the folder opens, press Ctrl plus A to select all files, and then press Delete to remove them. It's normal if some files can't be deleted, so no need to worry about that. Afterward, reopen the Run dialog box by pressing Windows key plus R again. Type percent %tempcent and press Enter. This will open another folder containing additional temporary files. Repeat the same steps. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything, then press Delete to clear the folder. As before, it's expected that a few files may remain undeleted. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Feel free to ask any question in the comment box. Peace out.